On today's episode of Spells, all you're going to need is some rope or shoelace. Get ready to have some fun. Hi, welcome to Spells. He's Jay Sankey, and I'm Bridget Hall. And on today's show, we're going to teach you how to do some really cool tricks with rope. In fact, I got all kinds of rope. I got a thin rope, I got a thick rope, I got a short rope, I got a long rope, I got a wide rope, I got a big, I got a, I got a, I got a big piece of, Bridget, I don't have a big piece of rope. I think I can help you out there. Just give me one second. How's this? Wow! <laughs> I don't know what's more impressive. Your costume or how quickly you got into it. It can be both. But hey, it gets better. Not only am I a big piece of rope, but I'm also a wrapping rope. Observe. Today we're making magic with a piece of rope. Not cards, not coins, not a bar of soap. We're gonna take this rope and I'll tell you now. We're gonna do some tricks that make you say, wow, that's a pretty cool trick. I really must say, and it's easy to do. You know how to do it today. So let's stop the wrapping and get down to it. Come on, everybody, let's make some magic. You know, Bridget, most people need two hands to tie a knot. Yeah. But watch carefully, just a shake. Here is how you do it. Now, Bridget, this is really quite simple, but don't be fooled by its simplicity, okay? This one does take a little practice to make it look like real magic. The key is how you're holding the rope. It starts here, just held between the thumb and fingers of both hands. But when my hand moves up here, I slip the rope so it's running between my pinky and the next finger, right down, okay? It's draped over the back of the hand, and while I kind of wave my hand in a magical gesture, <laughs> I'm gonna roll my hand over, and these two fingers, the first and second fingers, are gonna clip that end. Okay. As right. soon as I get a hold of that end, I'm gonna hold there, and everything else, I'm gonna shake it down and watch what happens. Here's the slow-mo. The end gets oh. pulled through and nice. a knot is automatically tied. I'll do it again. I want you to see that gesture. So I'm here. I come up here. I turn. I grab and I throw it down. And with just one hand, I have very magically tied a knot. Hey, Bridge. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Thanks for swinging by. No problemo. That was a sturdy piece of rope. You know, I bet that rope was as sturdy as the rope Houdini used in Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Isn't that when one thing changes into another? That's right. But Metamorphosis was also the name of one of Houdini's most amazing tricks. Houdini and his wife, Bess, performed the Metamorphosis thousands of times. It was a guaranteed crowd pleaser and made Harry Houdini the most famous escape artist of all time. Houdini was chained, then put in a locked trunk. His wife, Bess, would then pull a curtain across the front of the trunk. Three seconds later, Houdini emerged in front of the curtain, completely free of the chains. Even more amazing was that his wife, Bess, was now inside the trunk. So this is one of those tricks we don't want our friends at home trying, right? Exactly. Hey, Bridget, would you like to hear a joke about a piece of rope? Uh, nah. I think I'll skip it. Bridget, take a look at that piece of rope. Make sure that's not a tricky piece of rope. Make sure... 
It looks normal to me. Oh, it is normal. It is normal. Look, I'm going to tie a knot. Okay. In the middle. Real knot. Yes. In fact, I'm going to tie a double knot in that, okay? All right. Make sure it's tight. Now watch the knot. Just a pull, and it'll melt down the rope. Not just a little cool. bit. It'll melt all the way down to there. And remember, this is an ordinary here. Mm -hmm. Saying, look at that knot. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on that knot. Right. And I've got my extra yeah. rope now. Now you think, okay. well, how does that help me make mm -hmm. the knot move? The knot never <laughs> moves. The knot doesn't move. It just looks like it moves okay. because as I pull down the knot, it doesn't move, but I let some rope out of the hand. Right. But okay. the illusion right. of the knot going mm -hmm. down Great. is absolutely mm -hmm. perfect. And my favorite part is at the end, you can give this to people, mm -hmm. they can untie the rope and right. they can see it really was an ordinary knot. When performing your tricks, remember that where you look, the audience tends to look. So you have to practice secretly gathering up that rope in your hands so that you don't have to actually look at it when you're doing it. Because the last thing you want is for the audience to see the secret move. So Bridget, what do you have for us today? Well, Jay, a lot of magicians like to wear, you know, the top hat and tuxedo when they perform, but me, I like really bright colors, so we're going to make a tie-dye t-shirt. So first, you're going to need your dye, and you definitely need your parents' help with this one because this fabric dye can stain a lot of stuff pretty easily. And then to make the dye, you're going to get just some of this fabric dye that you can get at a lot of fabric stores and boil two cups of water and add this to the two cups of water. You add about a quarter of a cup of salt and just mix it in until it's all mixed in. And you do that and I have red and I have blue and purple. So you just do that with all three colors. I love your... purple. I'm glad to hear that, Jay. And then, oh, of course, you also need three paintbrushes for each different dye. Then with the shirt, you want just a white shirt. A white shirt works best. And then you're going to take these little elastics and make little knots. So let's get one. And you want to make sure the elastics are really tight so that the colors don't kind of mix together. I'm going to start here. Why don't we use some purple? And you're going to have to put a lot of color on just to make sure it soaks. And what the elastic does is it puts a little bit of white between each part, which I think is kind of cool. So you're going to do this with the whole shirt. And once you've done that, you've got to let it dry for one, maybe two hours. After it was done, we used some glitter glue and just made these bright stars, which I really like. But you know, you don't have to do that. You can just leave it simply tie-dye and it's a very colorful, very magical shirt. Here's a tip for all of you who exercise. You should always warm up before you work out. Huh? Don't take my word for it. Look, I'll show you. Two cards, they're gonna exercise together. I put them together, they go down, they touch their toes, yay. They go back, they touch their heels. I bend them in half like this and they go cross-eyed for a full two minutes. Finally, they go back ear to ear so they can listen to themselves think, I guess, I don't know. But look, this much is true. They're working out, but they forgot to warm up. So they run a risk of tearing muscles. Sometimes even a risk of tearing ligaments. Now my job as a magician, it's to try to take all these pieces and think, how can I possibly put them back together? So maybe this piece, maybe it'll fit with that one. Maybe this one will fit with this one. I'm not sure, but watch. Little rub here, little rub here, little heat therapy. The two cards, they look a little worse for the wear, but you can see at least now, both playing cards are completely and entirely restored. Thanks so much for joining us today. It was great seeing you. Uh, Jay, did you order me that cab like you said you would? Even better. Cool. We are going to do the magic bottle trick. Here's my magic wand, and here's an ordinary bottle. Okay. I'm going to put it in my magic wand. 
around. I'm going to make it defy gravity. Abracadabra. Thank you.